Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today is broadcast. The decree of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the appointment of the Minister of Defense and Armed Forces. The decree of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the appointment of the Deputy Minister of Defense and Armed Forces. A conference titled The Artsakh Issue today to be held on November 7. Azerbaijan hit the peaceful settlements of Artsakh at night, they are victims. Another humanitarian ad of the Union of Armenians of Ukraine reached Yerevan. Paris stands with Armenian people, Mayor of Paris. System of down rail night after 50 years pause with two songs raising awareness on Artsakh. Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia, decree of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the appointment of the Minister of Defense and Armed Forces of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President of the Republic, taking into account Article 76.13 of the Constitution, taking into account Article 77 of the Constitution, therefore signs a decree. Article 1 to appoint Minister of Defense and Armed Forces Colonel Hamik Sayadian. Article 2 the Minister of Defense and Armed Forces is a member of the National Security Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Article 3. The Minister of Defense and Armed Forces will work on the preparation and implementation of the military and strategic doctrine of the Republic of Western Armenia. Armena Gabramian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. Presidential Council of the Republic of Western Armenia Decree of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the appointment of the Deputy Minister of Defense and Armed Forces of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President Armena Gabramian taking into account Article 76.13 of the Constitution, taking into account Article 77 of the Constitution, therefore signs a decree. Article 1. To appoint Deputy Minister of the Defense and Armed Forces of the Republic of Western Armenia, Colonel Suren Shahumyan. Article 2. The Deputy Minister of Defense and Armed Forces is a member of the National Security Council of the Republic of Western Armenia. Article 3. The Deputy Minister of Defense and Armed Forces will work on the preparation and implementation of the military and strategic doctrine of the Republic of Western Armenia. Armena Gabramian, President of the Republic of Western Armenia. A conference titled The Artsakh Issue Today will be held on November 7 in the Conference Hall of the Yerevan Office of the Republic of Western Armenia. President Armena Gabramian will deliver a report at the conference. Foreign ambassadors and other officials will be present at the conference. More detailed information is presented on our website. The peaceful settlements in Artsakh were again under heavy Azerbaijani shellings overnight November 5 to 6, resulting victims among the civilian population. The State Service of Emergency Situations of Artsakh reports. The Azerbaijani Turkish forces opened intense gunfire at the town of Shushi and the city of Stepanakir during the entire night. Several residential homes in Shushi were set on fire as a result of the shellings and several destructions occurred in the capital city as well. The rescue squads of the Artsakh State Service of Emergency situations are working at the scenes. The rocket hit a residential house, killing three civilians. As a result of a search and rescue operations, the Artsakh rescue forces found the bodies of the victims. The Armenians of Ukraine continue to send humanitarian aid to Armenia. Executive Director of the Union of Armenians of Ukraine, Hovaki Marutunyan, said five trucks of the humanitarian aid have already been sent to Yerevan, and another 40 tons will be sent soon. The Armenians of Ukraine have already sent ambulance trucks, generators, medical equipment, food, first aid kits, clothes, wheelchairs, and construction materials. Every day, the Union of Armenians of Ukraine sent food and necessary assistance to over 2,500 people. Over 100 families have received help with regard to shelters, Harutunyan mentioned. Paris Mayor Anne Hidalgo wrote on Twitter that she had received Murat Frank Papazian and Ara Toronyan, co-chairs of the Coordination of the Council of Armenian Organizations of France, to discuss the situation in Artsakh. Paris stands with Armenians in this ordeal, Hidalgo added. Famous System of a Down have returned with their first new recordings in 15 years, Protect the Land and Genocidal Humanoids, to raise awareness on the ongoing Turkish-Azerbaijani aggression against Artsakh and Armenia. We are System of a Down, we have just released new music for the first time in 15 years. The time to do this is now, as together the four of us have something extremely important to say as a unified voice. These two songs speak of a dire and serious war being perpetrated upon our cultural homelands of Artsakh and Armenia, the band said in 
in a statement. The current regimes of Aliyev in Azerbaijan and Erdogan in Turkey not only want to claim Artsakh and Armenia as their own, but are committing genocidal acts with impunity of humanity and wildlife to achieve their mission. Between these two dictatorships, there is a lot of disinformation and silencing of voices within their own countries. Freedom of speech is not something that is enjoyed by everyone, but it is enjoyed here. So part of that responsibility is getting the truth out where whenever possible. We are here to protect our land, to protect our culture, to protect our nation. This is not the time to turn a blind eye. The music speaks for themselves. We need to speak for Artsakh Tangan Road. Now let us represent your attention a song by Nairian Ensemble. <laughs> You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.